this video going to multiply monomials and then add like terms and uh, we'll do these examples okay all these examples so um, you can write down the take down the table if you want to you don't have to but just wanted to go over this so that you'd understand for sure what to do so if it says that a you've got a column of a uh, monomials numbers and a column of b numbers right and then when it says a b what it means is a times b so when you write two letters beside each other it means multiply so a times b okay so what we gotta do is go along and multiply them first so with negative 4y and y multiplying those two you'll just do um, well you could use parentheses or a product dot or whatever but negative 4y times y equals what? write down the answer <coughs> So y times y is y squared, right? So wouldn't that be negative 4y squared, right? And then a minus b, if, if a is 4y and b is y, what's a minus b? That would be subtracting them, right? That would be taking negative 4y and then subtracting y, okay? That's a minus b, subtracting y, okay? What would that give you? Negative 4y minus y. Don't forget you can always put a 1 in front of the y. Please do that. Put a 1 there. Now it says negative 4y minus 1y. And subtraction can be changed to plus negative. Now it says negative 4y plus negative 1y. What does that give you? Negative 4y's plus a, a negative 1y. Negative 4 yo-yos plus a negative 1 yo-yo. That's negative 5 yo-yos. Negative 5y. Okay. What about this one? If you have 3x squared and a negative 2x squared, what would this is a, this is b. What would a b result in? So 3x squared times this, right? So can you do that? 3x squared times a negative 2x squared. What does that give us? So the 3 times negative 2 would be negative 6. And x squared times x squared, you can add the exponents, or you can say, well, x squared is x times x, and this x squared is another x times x. So that means we have 4x is being multiplied, right? <coughs> So negative 6 times x to the power of 4. Okay. So what would a minus b result in? And one way of doing this, just to make sure you don't make a mistake, is go parenthesis minus parenthesis. Okay. And then plug in what those two monomials are, the two things are. Plug in the two numbers because then you'll have 3x squared minus and remember this is a negative 2x squared negative 2x squared so to avoid a mistake here using the parentheses helps to make sure that we have we're subtracting the negative here subtracting a negative okay? <coughs> and if you subtract a negative what do you get it's just like adding a positive so 3x squared plus positive 2x squared is <coughs> positive 5x squared, right? So let's try this one. We've got a negative p to the power of 5 times a negative p to the power of 5. <coughs> so negative p to the power of 5 times, and you can put that in parentheses, <coughs> a negative p to the power of 5. Okay, so what does that give us? Press pause if you need more time. So we've got a negative times a negative. What's the sign? Sign would be positive, right? P to the power of 5. Again, you're multiplying exponents, so you can just add 5 and 5 to get 10. Or if you want, just write it out. Look, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 P's here. 
and then one, two, three, four, five p's here. So that's ten p's altogether being multiplied. So we have positive p to the power of ten, right? Or just p to the power of ten, even simpler. Just p to the power of ten, right? Now what about subtracting? <coughs> and again, the whole trick is to use parentheses. It's a minus b. So just write this down. Parenthesis minus parenthesis. If you write that down, you'll get the correct answer. Because when you plug things in, if you use parentheses, it usually works out much better. Okay, so use parentheses and plug it in. So negative p to the power of 5 minus, and this is, watch out, what's that? That's a negative p to the power of 5. Negative p to the power of 5, right? So what does that give us? <coughs> What's the answer? Negative negative makes plus plus. So that's a negative 1 p to the power of 5 plus 1 p to the power of 5. How many p to the power of 5's do we have? We've got negative 1 plus 1. 1 negative plus 1 positive. A bad guy and a good guy. Put them together and you get 0. 0 times p to the power of 5. What is 0 times p to the power of 5? What does that make? That would make 0, right? The answer is 0. So please press pause and do... <coughs> um, well, just press pause and do the last few examples and then I'll just run through them all. But you should know how to do them all by now. So. Multiply these two and then subtract. Multiply these two, then subtract, and so on. Um, so let's take this one. I'll, I'll, if hopefully you've tried it, please press pause and try it. I'm going to do it now. So negative nine a cubed times negative two a cubed. Negative times negative positive 9 times 2 18 so positive 18 and we got 3 a's here 3 a's here multiply them that's 6 a's 8 to the power of 6 if you want you can write them out just so you can see what's going on 1 2 3 a's being multiplied here 1 2 3 a's being multiplied here so that's 3 them here 3 them here that's 6 all together 8 to the power of 6 18 8 to the power of 6 okay so press pause and subtract them and remember to use parentheses. It's parentheses minus parentheses, then plug in the plug them in and then figure it out. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'll do it now. We've got negative nine a cubed minus a negative two a cubed. And we're subtracting a negative. Negative negative makes plus plus. Now it says negative nine a cubes plus a positive 2a cubed. So that's 9 bad guys, 2 good guys. 9 negatives, 2 po positives. That's 7 negatives. Negative 7a cubed. So if you haven't tried this, please press pause and try this one. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'll do it now. We've got a 2y to the power of 5 times a negative y to the power of 4. That's a positive times a negative. The sign is going to be negative, and it's a negative one there. If you like, that's a negative two. So it's two times negative one, negative two. Y to the power of five is five y's. One, two, three, four, five. Y to the power of four. That's four y's. One, two, three, four. So we got five y's times four y's. That's nine y's altogether. Of course, you can just add the exponents to get y to the power of nine. But it's negative two times y to the power of nine. Now subtracting, got to be careful. You've got to use parentheses like that and subtract. Okay. So plug in two y to the power of five, and we're subtracting, and that's a negative y to the power of four. Subtracting negative y to the power of 4. Okay, And negative negative makes plus plus. Now add those together. <coughs> Adding those together 
These are not like terms. They're not like terms. Watch out because that's a y to the power of 5. That's a y to the power of 4. They're different animals. They're different things altogether. So it's simply 2y to the power of 5 plus y to the power of 4. That is the answer. They're not like terms. You can't go any further. Now, if you haven't done this one yet, please press pause and do this one and see what you get. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'll do it now. We've got a negative x squared times a 7x to the power of 3. Okay. Get the number. That's a negative times 7. That's a negative 7. Or you could think of it this way. Negative 1 times positive 7 gives negative 7. Right? So the coefficient is negative 7. We have an x squared. x times x. We have an x cubed. x, x, x. That's 5 x is being multiplied. So we have x to the power of 5. Negative 7 times x to the power of 5. Now we've got to do a minus b. We've got to subtract them. So we start with the first one and subtract the next one and the trick is to use parentheses so you don't make a mistake. If you plug these in you get negative x squared minus 7x cubed. This is just a positive 7x cubed. What does that give us? <coughs> What's the answer? Well watch out these are not like terms. That's an x squared term. That's an x cubed term. So it's just a negative x squared minus a 7x cubed. Or even better actually be to put it in put the higher power to the left. So it's a negative uh, 7x cubed minus an x squared. Remember that this is plus negative so we've got we really have a negative 7x cubed and a negative um, x squared. So that would be the best way to write it. But the, but as long as you don't I mean point the main point is not to add these together because they're not like terms or not to subtract with them because they're not like terms.